One common tool in Audacity to help you change the volume of the sound files you're working with is the envelope tool. So I've just gone back here to my old file of testing. Testing, testing. testing. One, two, three. Just to show you how we can change the volume of certain parts of this waveform. And then I'm going to show you another way in use of it where you can use it to do fade in and fade outs of your sounds. So here we go. What I can do is is I can go to the envelope tool right up there and you'll see what it's done. It's sort of added this guide and my cursor has changed to look like those two arrows. What I do now is I can go click, click and add these dots, these control points. I can now click the outer ones or the inner ones but the outer ones are easier to use and then watch what I can do. I can go click and drag down, click and drag down and you'll see what the overall effect is on the volume, right? It's actually changing the volume. So now if I went a little rewind and play. Testing, testing, one. You'll see that it was a lot quieter at the beginning. Now, this is more of a fade-in, right? It went from nothing up to full volume. If you just wanted to change the actual volume, you could do stuff like this. You could go click and click around this area and then you add an extra set like that and then you can do stuff like this so notice now the volume goes down it's quieter and then it comes back up notice that that didn't just use two control points I ended up using four and you can slide them left and right so you can do the volume change really sharply if you want and now when I do a play testing one two three four You'll see how it got quieter, maybe not quite as much as you thought. Oops, I put an extra dot there. How do you fix that? You just click and drag off the track. So when you click off the track, click, drag, it takes those dots away. But if you click the dots that exist, you can click and drag them, you know, and adjust the volume. To make it even one, two, three, four. To make it a little more obvious, right? You just have to play around to get the right volume. So that's one use for the envelope tool, okay, that can make things quieter. And obviously you can apply this and uh, you can move these points later and any way you want, right, to go louder or quieter. Now another good use for the envelope tool is to do a manual fade in or fade out. So I'm just going to close this file and I'm going to load another one here. This one's in the drive. Let's go for Fire Truck Street. Just give you a little play here. Notice the sound starts out pretty loud at the beginning. Maybe what I want to do is I want to make this file quietly fade in. Well, here we go using the envelope tool. So I click the envelope tool, and let's say I want it to fade in over five seconds. And so I put a little dot there at five seconds. I put a little control point there at the beginning. And using the outer dot right up here, I'm going to drop the envelope down to almost nothing. And then you can see it's going to slowly climb up. And I just left that control point where it is. So now it's full volume the rest of the way. If you want to do a fade out, you could click here, click here, and you could drop the volume down low and do a fade out like that. Now when I rewind and play, you'll see it gradually increases. And if I kept playing to the end, you'll see it fades out. So that's the envelope tool. Remember, to get rid of the dots, just drag them off. Okay, drag them off the track, and they disappear, so it's very easy to fix. There you go, the envelope tool for volume control.